Hey guys, welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. Stroll along Venice Boulevard in Mar Vista, California, and you'll find traces of artist Michelito Orquiola just about everywhere. His murals adorn city walls, sidewalks, businesses, and even utility boxes. Friends call him Mitch for short, but others have dubbed him the unofficial mayor of Mar Vista's art scene. And while he lives for his paintings, he's become an unlikely community organizer. Check it out, it's a story you will only see on Latin Nation. My name is Michelito Orquiola. I'm a visual artist, but also I'm the executive curator for Mar Vista's Art Walk. When I started my career um, as a visual artist 25 plus years ago, I never got a helping hand. Galleries could not um, pinpoint my clients because they didn't because they can they couldn't class my work. The way I paint is. I think something different than what you'd normally see. Uh, it's broken down by lines and geometric patterns and shapes. And I basically get my uh, inspiration through the people that surround me. I use the uh, uh, nature's palette as my colors uh, and try to always render something beautiful. Lately, it's been a theme in my art. Um, I, I wasn't. I, I didn't want to render anything that was that was uh, controversial, but as an artist, I think it's our responsibility to depict what's going on in our society. And, and probably in the last year and a half or two, I've made conscious efforts to uh, depict certain things that are happening in our world that is, to me, is inhuman. Battleship. Ninjas. There right, we go. I believe for myself, being in Mar Vista in the last uh, three years, one of the things that was something very important for me to do, and this is stepping outside of the role as a visual artist, because not a lot of artists would like to do this, is, is basically getting involved with the community, meeting all the, all the business owners, knowing them on first name basis, uh, nurture a good relationship with them, because when you do it in that way, what's going to end up happening is they will support you and whatever you want to do. And that's what ended up happening for our first art walk here in Mar Vista. When we decided to do the art walk, I called together a group of artists to meet um, at a Great Streets subcommittee. At that meeting, I pre presented the idea of putting together an art walk. And there were a lot of people there, some gallery owners, some artists. So I popped the question. Everybody was like, yeah, this is a great idea. We should do it. I popped the question. So when? Michelito was like, two months. <laughs> it was September. He was like, yeah, December. And I'm like, that's my man. I was approached by my partner, my Mar Vista Art Walk partner now, uh, Lenore French, who is in charge of, and her company is called GCI, Green Communications Initiative. And um, their foremost thought is basically to get more people to walk rather than to use their cars. And what better way to do that is to do it through Art Walk. Since I've um, had experience curating uh, a gallery and at the same time having the type of quiver of artists in my arsenal, it was a good match for she and myself to partner up to get this started. And that's one of the key reasons why I started Mar Vista's Art Walk, to basically create a playground and platform for other artists of different genres. It doesn't have to be visual art to be able to, to do their thing, to show and exhibit their tangibles, and at the same time, show the process also. Mm -hmm. 